Hey, good Fox here. Today we have some gameplay of Marcus Allen and Mike Singletary. You see Russell Wilson on the squad too, and a couple other of these Super Bowl players, but this one's going to be focused on Marcus Allen and Singletary. We'll do another video, I think, after this, we're focusing on uh, Mr. Wilson. So, uh, Allen's stats. He's fully chemmed out here with the past, uh, the Super Bowl past chemistry, all the way up to 10. So he's got 95 speed. A, B, I got that all the way to tier two. Also, agility, acceleration. I mean, those are top end stats. That's basically the fastest, besides behind like CB, Dion, of course, the fastest player in Mutt. 95 speed. We'll take a look at his chemistry here, this past chemistry. That is a strength, agility, awareness, carrying, block shed, play rec. Tier two is speed, acceleration, run block, elusiveness, power move, finesse move, power. Now, a bunch of those are for defensive players, but for him and basically every player on the field, Speed is the most important thing, and you're going to see a little bit of his speed in action here. The acceleration, you see that. Uh, carrying, 93. Now, uh, about the carrying, we might get into this a little bit during the game. I, I think I'm going to say that uh, in a little bit. We'll talk about the carrying. Run block, pass block, 68. So, um, not bad pass block, not great. Uh, jumping's only 85, though. So you can't really get that glitchy left trigger over the line kind of animation. But all of his other stats, look at that. Stiff, spin, juke, elusiveness. 96 looseness, but all those other stats over 90, which means you're getting those elite moves according to EA. They said that's the threshold for elite moves this year. But a uh, spec catch, catch a traffic route running are, um, you know, kind of average there. But I will say he didn't drop a ton of balls. I threw a bunch. All right, moving on, we're going to take a look at Singletary. This is the 96 overall version. Um, this is another past card, so he adds to the past. Uh, chemistry that we had on Marcus Allen 88 speed fully chemmed out. This is with field general tier 2 and uh, Passed all the way up it's awareness 95. Don't look at that. That doesn't matter tackle 96 play rec 97 block shed 94 pursuit 94 hit power 96 So this is a thumper. This is a run stuffer now his speed isn't top tier like the Shaz fully chemmed out who has a 92 So he's not gonna be the greatest user, but he's gonna be a phenomenal second middle linebacker for you He's a limited time. And I think he's only in packs for one day Tomorrow there'll be more limited players coming out through this whole week. We're getting more limited players, but against Chaz, you know, this is a great one-two combo. Probably the best one-two combo in the game are these two basic. Uh, I mean, Singletary is a little short. There we got Singletary and Allen, both at 99, and then Chaz, you know, of course, bringing up. Which is going to make it kind of hard actually, with Chaz being on that screen because there's going to be two middle linebackers with stars under them, them both wearing the same number too. So <laughs> it's going to be uh, who's you only be able to tell by the four speed difference between the two. All right. Anyways, kicking it off, we are on defense first. I'm using Singletary to start the game. He's running some bunch strong, so we got some pressure home. We got some nice coverage there. Um, good bunch strong. We're, we're trying to trying to do a new nickel blitz. Trying to do the Chargers book, uh, basically Bugs blitz. I'm trying to try, test it out right away. Um, not working because I got auto flip on, and there's something funky with the auto flip and this blitz and, and the two four five even. Uh, but anyways. Um, so keep doing that, and he's going to tear me apart this first drive because I can't keep up. I just can't keep up with the receiver with the 88 speed. Luckily, he overthrew that, threw that there with Singletary. You got a little bit better chance there with uh, Shaz to keep it up, but still, a receiver at 93, you really got to kind of keep on him with 80 or with 92 speed. Usually, I lock this up by manning up the corner on this play, like that, that corner, and there, I just don't get that animation to swat that ball or catch it. I thought I had a good location to swat that, and that's that's really this guy's offense here is where he burns me with it, but we're back to Marcus Allen. Off the bat, first play, we cut back, there we throw a little uh, screen pass, and oh, we try to get a truck, we should have probably just gone right through that uh, to you know get more yardage there, and that's really, once we get on the edge, and that's kind of his strength, is the speed. That's his biggest asset. You know, he's also got that, that 90 trucking, that 96 elusiveness that we talked about, which is also so great. Here's on the screen, and he gets caught from behind, but I failed the tackle battle, and he still struggled forward for like eight yards. So this Allen, and I, I, I will say there's a difference between this card, this game, I just chose the first game I played with these guys, and uh, there is one game that made Allen look pretty crappy, fumbled twice. One was my fault because I juked into a hit stick, um, but then he also he fumbled for me three times tonight in a stream. And if you want to see this Allen again, I'm going to be streaming tonight with Allen, um, so check him out. We had a pretty rough night last night on stream. Um, as you'll see in this gameplay, it goes, uh, well, no spoilers, right? So we're kind of trying to push up the middle again off tackle, and, and that's just a bad animation in our center. We, for some reason, that that's constantly happening this game. We're not able to get any push from our center, our guards, anything. And he goes deep again. I didn't think he'd test the user, but uh, obviously he gets a good animation there against the sideline. So his offense are those deep, deep corner routes. Um, basically throwing it again, and we get the knockup pick interception. So back to Mr. Cam Chancellor, since we got it. Um, 
Offense, Allen. Like his traits. Clutch, yes. Fights for extra yards, yes. Makes right catches, no. Drops open passes, no. Uh, makes aggressive catches, no. Makes possession catches, no. Makes sideline catches, no. So he doesn't have any catching uh, traits that are any good. But otherwise, his other traits are very good. You know, bra covers ball, brace versus medium hitters. So we want him. That's great because we want him to brace versus hitters. This is Russell Wilson on quarterback. Not as mobile as, you know, you'd love to see. Um, he kind of felt just like an ordinary mobile quarterback, but we'll get that more in the Russell Wilson uh, gameplay review. Uh, kind of looking deep, looking deep, looking deep. Can Clark hang on? And yes, he does. He rat catches, hangs on to it. Lucky for us, this guy's trying to send some like nickel type stuff. Allen up the middle, and oh, did you see that like little speed burst where his his uh, linebacker couldn't get like a nice little suction tackle on us? There, throw it. Oh, Graham gets it knocked out. Man, I, I hate those weak animations that we keep getting. Off the edge, there's the block shed. You know, I hate that block shed. Because in real life, if a guy disengages like that, running backwards, he's going to get his ass pancaked. Absolutely pancaked by the offensive lineman. Instead of the offensive lineman disengaged and they're like, oh, that's cool. We're disengaged now. All right, I'm done blocking. That's cool. So over the middle, it takes a hit from Cam and twists around with the middle linebacker there. So not great. So overall, Singletary, like I said, I'm using him, but not the greatest of users. Nice pick, Eric Berry. Just picked that card up prior to this because he, he faced a, a loss in value. Another block shot, but that was Jimmy Graham there. Not a big deal. So we're continuing to run with Allen, seeing how he goes up the, up the middle. You know, taking these tackles up the middle, he's he's much like all the other backs, all the other high-end backs that I've used. Um, not too, like, different taking these tacks up the middle. Like, he, he will fall forward a little bit. Nice little. He's manning up my, He's the. this is the first opponent that I've seen man up my uh, swing pass, which is a very effective way of beating it. Um, Russell Wilson, I could have scrambled here. I probably should have. Took the hit. Hanging onto the ball, though. Um, we got Allen blocking, like I said, 68 block in there, he just cuts. So the, the, the pass blocking doesn't matter as much because you're just going to get that hit animation, that, that cut block against those three, four edge blitzes, which really those edge blitzes are the reason you keep in those kind of cards there. Nice little read by my opponent, but then he, he runs into the kind Mr. Chancellor, gets the hit stick overall. So we're going to a, a bunch formation to the right here, passing the ball. We're down by four points, third quarter, 155 left. Up the field, we had Graham early, and we're not able to get the ball back, so we fumble, and Russell Wilson's actually able to recover his own fumble. They're off the edge, screaming, and we scream like uh, this is scream. Uh, that's a great analogy, but uh, to the corner, no hang on for the first down. So we punt the ball back to the bad guys in blue, um, run up the middle, nice little uh, hold up there by Levante David, stopping Tomlinson there for only a three-yard game. I think that was his first rush of the whole game. Um, anyways, throwing it deep again to the corner out, but no, it wasn't there. He goes short, and that is underneath. We got the guys manned up, crossed man, bench route, boom, David. So David's uh, showing up on the field here a little bit better. He's avoiding the user like a very smart, oh, well, except for that one play that we saw them avoid the user, like a very smart opponent. So here I'm thinking run. So I'm sending a, a bunch of guys on the blitz and punch, pinch my line, and oh, we make the play. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> I can't tell which 50 made that play. Was that Singletary or Shaz? I don't really know. Allen's one on one. Oh, juke. But the block shed came through and, and sweeped up Allen. We could have potentially tried to truck there. I, I don't find myself trucking enough against corners with this Allen because I always try to, you know, use a guy's best attributes. Like uh, his, his elusiveness is his best attribute. So I try to juke, spin with this Allen. It didn't work as well as I'd like. As, you, as I talked about earlier, that the juke into traffic that cost the fumble for Allen uh, happened. And I could have just probably trucked in that situation. You know, his trucking's still pretty decent at 90. You know, obviously it's not top tier. He's no blunt, Henry, anything like that. As my opponent keeps crossing routes, these snugs are deep. And look at that, deep corners running free. Not even Shaz. I think they got Shaz there. Not even he's able to make up for it. So my opponent's deep corner strategy on offense is playing off well for him. It's got him seven points so far, and he's looking for 14, nothing. Shut down, Mr. Clowney came there to sweep him up like a street sweeper, uh, like a cop there taking care of some drug dealers. There we go, stuffing up the middle like a Thanksgiving turkey there. It's coming down to the final minutes. Call oh, stopped him short. So my opponent is going to take the points, and we got the ball, little Allen up the middle. A little Allen in the middle. That sounds like a nice sitcom from the 80s. We're going to go looking deep. Kind of got the out route. We should have thrown that out route right there, but we hesitated. We're looking deep. Johnson on the linebacker, and Levante David's making himself known for the opponent. Man, that card is balling off of both sides today. He is just going crazy. We use a cover the corner route. He throws shorts to the left. And uh, you know who else throws shorts? Party girls. We love party girls at the concerts. Throw it deep. He's looking deep, and our pressure gets home. I guess the corner route didn't get open for him quick enough that time. We're on Singletary, 88 speed, chasing deep at the corner, and he throws to the other corner and gets out of bounds. 18 seconds left. Can he drive deep? We're man up, cover two, and he throws it away. We're getting the pressure in again. 
pretty hard. So man up, cover two again. And what happens? But oh my god, our corner looks dumb. And Chancellor is there, but cannot make the pick. So he comes down with it. Kicks the field goal. F to me. We recover with Penn. Take a little uh, tackle. And that is the end of the game. So overall, Allen did well on uh, stream last night. Hopefully he'll do well again tonight. Um, and uh, Singletary, great second middle linebacker, but not a great number one user like Shaz. But otherwise, both play cards play great. All right, thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.